Hello and welcome back everyone to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve problem set 1 file extensions. So in today's problem we want to implement a program that prompts the user for the name of a file and then outputs that file's media type if the file's name ends the case insensitively in any of these uh, file extensions. So yeah, let's start with taking input from the user. Let's make a variable called file name and take the input from the user and type in a message uh, like uh, enter. Okay, type file name and uh, we want to our program to be case insensitive. So let's lower our uh, string here okay after that uh, yeah I think uh, everything we are going to do after this will be conditions if conditions uh, so let's start with if so actually here in this uh, problem uh, especially in the conditions we have a lot of options uh, we can use methods like uh, ends with and uh, I think there is also a method called the suffix so yeah we can we can do like three options uh, I'm thinking of the first one is to check if for example uh, this first extension uh, is in file name and if that's the case print uh, the following and we can also do it uh, with the, the methods I just mentioned let's try them all right now and you can use whatever you like let's type a uh, file name okay let's actually add a column here okay let's add a file so the extension is GIF. So yeah, that prints out uh, what we want. Let's actually try the methods now. Let's try ends with, and let's provide the extension. Okay, let's test once more time. as you can see it also works so it's a lot of different approaches let's try the suffix I'm not sure if it's uh, how it's called okay but let's give it a try and file okay there's actually no method called uh, suffix I think for strings but let me actually uh, make sure because I think I saw it before okay there's actually no method called suffix uh, I don't know where did I get that from so now I think we have two different approaches uh, ends with and uh, uh, what I did first uh, okay let's rewind yeah and this approach so pick whatever you like I think I will go with the ends with. I think it's uh, uh, I think it's better. I don't know why, but it's just me. Okay, let's actually copy this for every case we have. Okay, let's uh, yeah, let's go one uh, at a time. So now let's check for JPEG or uh, yeah, let's do this first. And if that's the case, let's be careful with the semicolon. Okay, let's print and let's do the third extension. Okay. Yeah, so this time it will be JPEG and so on. I think I should <laughs> pause here and 
uh, get back after I finish uh, all of them because uh, we are going to do the same for every single extension so yeah I will pause and uh, get back after finishing all uh, the code so yeah uh, I finished the rest of the conditions so yeah let's uh, give it a try and yeah, see if the program is working so let's run python extensions let's type file dot let's try uh, uh, every test just to make sure so that's is working let's try the next one that's also working let's try this next one and so on okay that's working let's try png good let's try pdf nice let's try text okay let's try zip okay good i think yeah otherwise it would just print this message let's uh, type so yeah great so yeah you kind of get the idea uh, i know it's looking weird how we are checking for every condition it doesn't feel like it's the <laughs> right solution uh, but there is actually i think better solution than this there have to be uh, i think i can make a video about it but uh, this is just for simplicity uh, it's uh, i don't think it's good to go deep uh, right now since you're just in the problem set one so yeah that was yeah let's actually use check 50 as always so uh, before finishing the video yeah let's use check 50 okay uh, not bad actually so we only have one test failed and it's just because uh, we didn't make our program uh, like quite space insensitive if that's making sense what i mean by that is we need to slice our string uh, i mean strip so we had to remove the uh, bleeding white space and that was this tests uh, uh message so as you can see we uh, yeah with spaces on either side we should output application pdf but uh, what I output is this message here. So yeah, let's try again and uh, let's actually, uh, I think we can make this easier since these two print the same message. We can just uh, make them in one if statement. So if file name is JPEG, yeah, let's uh, just add or, And I think this should also work. And just to make it like uh, a bit smaller, because it's uh, like really big, and I really don't like how it looks. But yeah, let's use check fifty again, and hopefully we pass every test this time. Okay, as you can see, uh, everything is uh, correct. So every test uh, is there. We passed. So yeah, that was today's video. Yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, see you next time.